So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Cutter Crawford. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring yeah, yeah. position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Jose Altuve leading things off and takes a strike. First pitch, 14. Next pitch is outside. That's towards center. Rafaela makes the grab one away. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Chris, this is an offense that puts the bat on the ball. Tough outs pretty much throughout the lineup, and they have fewer strikeouts than any other team in the league. Yeah, Boog, and I just remember as a player, when you're going up against a club like this, it keeps you on your toes all game long because you got to make plays for your pitcher on the defense. And so an offense like that can really put some pressure on that defense. So they can swing the bats, put it in play. But I also think if they run the bases hard, it adds another element to their game. One out, base is empty. Now he breaks his bat. On the run, throw to first, and they get Bregman for the out. You rewind and think back to those Giants teams that won three world titles. They were pretty good contact-based teams, obviously the Royals as well. It feels like it's swinging back a little bit towards there's an advantage to having some guys in your lineup that make contact. Your Don Alvarez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift ball, rules? Right. Two out spaces empty. Just off the inside edge. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. And that is that. On to the bottom of the first, no score. here in Boston and on the hill in this one you say Kikuchi what do you have on him Sagi? well he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season and when you consider the off. amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games so we'll see if that remains true in this one back when you played it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. And aboard on the leadoff single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now the number two hitter, Rob Refsnyder. 
First pitch misses. Ref Snyder in his sixth season, batting second in today's lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2012. On the ground, could be two. On a second, they get one. How about that double play? Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details of how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. And stepping in is the speedy Romy Gonzalez. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And now the 01. That one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Altuve oh. slings to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Scoreless after one. Second inning go, set go, to man. go. And now the DH, Gainer Diaz. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. And the pitch. In the dirt. And that is ball one. Ball one, no strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And here it comes. There's the strike up on. Now one and two. Well, it looks like he's running to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And a curve misses outside. It's a good take. Two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And another ball. Swings through for the pen. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Up and in, and that's ball one. Counts one and oh. No score here in the second. Pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. One down, base is empty. Good oh, eye right outside. there. Swing it a foul straight back. Pitch misses. And now it's three and two. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. The wind of the pitch. Three. And down on strikes. Two away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off Got speed. It. Gets the out. The two outs. Base is empty. Victor, Victor Caratini up next for the Astros. And that's inside. off the inside edge. And that's ball one.
right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And the one two misses to even the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. Devers throws oh. on to first, and the Astros put down in order. Astros are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Bottom of the second. And stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. Devers. As the lefty gets to work. Up and in. 1-0. In the air, left field. Alvarez heads towards it. Hauls it in for the out. That is good. The first baseman. Next is the speedy first baseman, Connor Wong. Next offering popped in the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Batting the catcher. Danny Jansen to hit here. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go nope, deep into this game. That one a little bit high, and it's one to know. There's a swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right ball, by him, right. slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And another One ball. Three. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. Kicks and fires. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. Jake Myers. The wine and the pitch. Best ball for a strike. Four one. Yeah, there's a ball. That oh, one missed. Another 2 2 upcoming. And another ball. Three two. In the air, out towards right center. Rafaela sizing this one up. And out number one on the ground. Zach DiZenzo, the up next for the Astros. Zach Swing and that's strike one. Oh, Top one. of the third, no score. Oh, 
And a curve misses outside. Wouldn't chase that time. This one in the air right field. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Two outs. To the right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Astros. Still no score. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. Kikuchi back to work. Line drive to short and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now it's the shortstop. In the air to left center. Sizes this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting nine. The center fielder. Sidney Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and he just misses. All one, no strike. Right through there for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. That's hard hit on the line. And that's the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Inside Fenway Park. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve, in his 13th season, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. That's through there for a strike. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the monster. Throws to second. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Go ahead, run on base. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Righty delivers. One and one. 
in the dirt but kept close and an excellent job keeping it right there man at second up the middle and it finds its way through for a hit now a long throw home but it's offline well done drives in the run shorten up the swing and went right back up the middle here's Jordan Alvarez 0 for 1 with a fly out to center and downstairs well these Astros showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense you know sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage and that might be the case today One on, nobody out, a run in, top half of inning number four. That just misses, and it's two and two. That's inside. Payoff pitch, and ball four, two aboard. Well, oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk, and... Things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Yaner Diaz. Ripped to first. Makes it to the back himself, but he's back in time. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Two on, one out. Jeremy Pena will hit next. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. And that one fouled off. Bregman over at second. Alvarez at first. One gone. That one off the mark. And it's one and one. There's a strike. Kicks and deals. That one misses. And that's ball two. Two on, one out. Misses outside. Counts full three and two. Victor Caratini waiting for a turn at the plate. First and second with two outs. And now the switch hitting catcher, Victor Caratini, who for one so far. High in the air, out to right. Ref Snyder gets under it, corrals it, and that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1 0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Fenway, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off at the bottom of the fourth, Jaron Duran. The pitch. And that one is inside. 
You know, these Red Sox, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at bat is over. No That's right, not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits, so they might want to be a little more selective up there. Rob Refsnyder up next for the Red Sox. That ball one inside, ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Liner snagged it first. Great diving catch on the line drive, and the ground does not cause a fumble. Great athleticism on that play right there. So stepping in for Boston, Romy Gonzalez. Grounded out his first time up. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. One Next ball, offering misses right. down and away. And a foul ball. Two outs. That, that misses the zone. And the count's even at two. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Alvarez makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Astros one and the Red Sox nothing. We go to the top of the fifth and stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. Look, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold Glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but he'll also has some streakiness as well. I think the key just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out Whoa, at the dish. Next pitch is outside. On the ground to Devers. Throws to first. Oh. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Zach Dezenzo up next for the Astros. Fly to right his first time. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, oh, and then the next night got a chance to see the Here Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Next that's one in the dirt. What about the fans at Rainbow. Fenway would they let you have it from time to time. They're definitely intelligent baseball fans which is awesome. They're not oh, waiting for man. something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a now situation that, setting right, itself right. up. Mauricio. So man aboard. Dubon. And now the right fielder, Mauricio Dubon. Yeah. Move to first. No, Vicenzo back on a dive. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a stand. Rudder takes oh, off. Cool. Pitch misses. Jansen, yeah. great throw. He's out. Such a quick and fast swing of the motions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that skips in the dirt. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No runs, no hits, no errors. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros one and the Red Sox nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And a swing and a miss there. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Left hand batter waits. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Connor Wong. He's 0 for 1. First oh, off, bringing it just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The lefty to one on. Foul ball there. The Strohs leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Hey. That one finds the zone. And a count one and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Caratini up with it on the first. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some okay, point okay. succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. This one in the air. Has this one sized up? Makes the play, and that's out number three. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Crawford back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Old one. Movement in the bullpen. Chris Martin up and loosening in the pen. Pavetta warming up as well. And the right hander deals. And there's a foul ball. The 0 2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And a count one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Goes down looking. And now it's Alex Bregman. One for two. Alex Bregman. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a good eye there. Base is empty one away. And we're the top half of the sixth. Wait. 
Got it by him for the K. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And first offering is fouled off. But why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. That one, one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. Foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs. And there's a ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches in this game. High fly ball down the left field line. And that should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Man, that feels so good when you can win a battle like that. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Man in scoring position with two away. Next to hit, Yaner Diaz. Just outside, off the outside ball. edge. Ball one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the yeah. number four hole hitter up. Swings through that one for strike one. Inside, just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Man on second, two down. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's oh. the third out. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Astros one and the Red Sox nothing. Well, we go bottom Lady six God. and We're stepping in from Austin, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. And the pitch. That All misses. One, one and oh. And fouled off. Here's a 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fires across the diamond. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Fly to left his first time. Pitch is in there, and that is strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent nope. slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he deals. A little bit low. On.
on the ground right side now Tuve handles it sends it to first two up two down the bat the center field today Sidine Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. He's over one. In the air, right field. Duvall brings it in for the third out. Pitcher on here, Chris Martin. Number Big five. swing and miss stuff right here, Red. bro. Averaging more than one Martin. strike per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The shortstop. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. At the belt and fires. Whoa, the shortstop yeah. takes the ball. Stays alive. And a one two. Swing and a soft liner out to left field. Fair ball. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Vic Caratini at the plate. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Pena aboard here at first with nobody out. That one way inside. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Started to go at the one two, but checked on it to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Righty to the plate. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Right handed reliever. Up the middle. Dive, and he's got it. There's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Perfectly timed dive right there to knock the ball down. He gets up and flips it to the second baseman to start. That 4 6 3 double play, tell you what, that is the pitcher's best play. Digging in, Jake Myers. And that one clips the corner. Back to work. Now, Red Sox fans are frustrated, no question. 
some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Looking to get the tying run on base. And strike two. Hitting is all about anticipation. And right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed. And it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Caleb Ford getting loose out there. Ferguson, the lefty, warming up as well. Fights that one away, still one and two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering way off the plate. And now the lefty still two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a pop up. Altuve in position. Makes the grab one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried oh, to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well. And that's what caused him to pop it up. Rob Refsnyder up next for the Red Sox. Fastball for a strike. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Kicks and fires. We got a ball, one strike. in there at the knees for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. That one is absolutely belted. No one can get there. It falls in. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Well, that was an important bat in this game, so great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Now it's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. Hey. Late on that fastball. These fans, they All are... One. Ready to cheer about something. Hey. And that's a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. That field never's up to him. Yeah, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. So the tying run at second. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Going to count one and two. That pitch was pretty borderline at the top of the zone, and he's not digging the call out there on the mound. Clearly pretty frustrated, so he's going to have to collect himself a little. One, two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One out. The tying and go-ahead runs are on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the ball on. Wong in the box now. Take strike one. Ooh. 
the pitch. Now he catches the corner for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Two on, two outs. Got him looking. Inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth, Nick Pavetta. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Well, one run game. And stepping in for the Astros, Zach DiZenzo. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh, that's off the plate. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. That's and that's down and away. And the righty deals. Fly ball down the left field line. That one back there pulls it in on the warning track. The right field, Mauricio Dubon. And next to hit for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. Pass ball for a strike. Going along. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Lucas Sims up and throwing. Garcia, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. The 0 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Down, base is empty. Oh, and that one. just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have got it. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Altuve at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Astros go down 1-2-3, but they hold a 1-0 lead. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now it's Jansen to hit. The pitch. And he takes one right on the black. And it's 0-1. The Astros have some action in their pen. Josh Hader, the closer of the staff, is thrown. Here comes the 0-1. There's a strike. Kikuchi into his eighth oh, inning of work right. singing. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do One that ball. today. We'll see Two what strike. happens as this finishes. comes a pitch. Nope, inside, ball two. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. And here it comes. Got a full and it's filled up. Masataka Yoshida on deck for Boston.
And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swung on, belted. And it hits off the monster. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. You say Kikuchi gives way, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Caleb Ferguson on a pitch out of the pen here. Number 64. Pretty big spot he's coming into trying to strand that runner at second base. So he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Next to hit, Masataka Yoshida. In there at the knees. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes, you count. Trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that's in the dirt. So the tying run at second spoils that one, and it remains two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Fouls it back with two strikes. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Still two and two after the foul ball. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Now that's smack to right center. Base hit into the outfield. Throw comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Cora turning to the bench for a new hitter. Dominic Smith. Oh, great spot. He's looking to come through with that go-ahead run on base. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Base hit into the outfield. The tying run is in to score from third. It's 1-1. One, one. one of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity and he came through for his club right there first and second no outs Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox in there at the knees for a strike
That misses the zone. And the crowd oh. even one and one. Fights it off. You'll see another. Yoshida, the lead runner out at second. Smith at first with no outs. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. And his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. One for three. There's a strike. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastballs. Going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Oh. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Hey. Struck him out looking. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second base, but job's not done yet. Got to get that last down before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. Now it's the right fielder, Rob Refsnyder. Swings and misses. That's strike one. First and second, two down. This one smashed down the right field line. And he jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. As a run comes in, and they take the lead. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he so here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. So two down. Here's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Second and third, two down. Out towards right center field. Myers makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors, and a couple left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Red Sox two, and the Astros one. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Kenley Jansen. This is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Well, one-run game. Now it's Alex Bregman. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat. Ultimately, hey. however he can, get to first base.
and a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Going oh, two now. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that you know you're going to wrap this thing up. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Really nice double last time after a long battle at the plate. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That oh, misses. Wow. One and one. And that's in there at the knees. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And just one out remaining for Houston. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Astros down to their last out. Now a chance for Gaynor Diaz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Hey. Up and That's in, two and one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. This could end it. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. And that'll do it as they complete the strikeout to end it. All these players were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs in the top of the ninth. Excellent job of securing your home field and keeping the fans in the ballgame all the way to the end. Nice W all the way around. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.